I have a message for Ndibos. Since our elders or our parents have decided not to say anything, maybe they are tired, we the youth have to start speaking up. And if you think you've gotten it all, you can provide electricity for yourself, you can provide the water, you can drive the best of cars, drive the, uh, fly on the best of aircraft, there is no problem. Karma is coming. And you've seen the truth, you've decided not to say the truth. You're just sitting down on the truth. Your generation will regret why you saw the truth, why you kept silent when the country has gone moribund. Continue, time shall tell. Well, I was born and brought up in the north, Kano State precisely, to the Maliki Zuru. If you have lived in Kano State before, you will know where I am talking about. Living in Kano State is the worst thing that has happened in my life. House of people are barbaric. They are wicked. They are not my brother. There is no need sharing one country with them. It doesn't want it. You will stay, live in a country where one day people will be running helter skelter. What is happening? Riot, riot. What is causing the riot? Nobody knows. People are being butchered on the road. Street blood. Everybody is running helter skelter. And if you are very fortunate, your father or your mother manages to come back that day. Go and thank your God. Because whenever riot starts, there is nobody, no phone callers at that time. There is no phone, no GSM, nothing, nothing. You just be coping, praying. And as I then, my then, uh, I had my kid friends then, that while I was rejoicing that my parents are back, they were crying because their parents couldn't make it. They butchered them. So tell me why I should live with a, in a country where somebody is so wicked that he will comfortably kill somebody without having remorse. My father had a pharmacist shop. My father was a pharmacist then. He had a medicine shop. How some people bonded from the roof down to the brim. My mother sells. She's a trader. She was a trader then at Canteen Quarry. They bonded from the roof down to the brim. And you are still telling me to be sharing one country with them. Somebody I don't share the same school of thought with. We don't wear the same clothes. We don't eat the same food. We don't speak the same language. We don't worship the same God. We don't have the same. We don't share the same school of thought. We don't have the same mindset. We don't share anything in common. I never experienced 1967 to 1970 riots, but living in Kano State experienced me to what what war was all about. Broad daylight, somebody will carry a dagger and butcher somebody. One evening, when we were relaxing in our house, a group of half star people surrounded our building, threatening that they were going to kill us. We had to lock our door. Everybody was speaking in tongues, praying. You have to pray in any language you understand, because that was the last minute. With their dagger, with their sophisticated weapons. All thanks to one Allah Suleiman. I cannot continue this video if I don't acknowledge him. He's a house man too. Allah Suleiman, he said he was sleeping, somebody tapped him, wake up. Go and rescue some people. That was us. That was how he managed to come out. She start shooting in the air. People, the house of people, they had to run away. If not, the story could have ended. Tell me why I would stay with somebody that doesn't love me. They don't like me, and you're forcing me to stay with them. They destroyed my father's properties, and you want me to stay with them. For what purpose? For what reason? I can never be called one. I hate them. I despise them with passion. That is the truth. Let's keep hating. During our Christmas time and our Easter and our New Year day, we do saraka. We share food. We give them meat. We give them clothing. We do a lot of things. Shout at them. They have plenty of aromageries then in the Canos, in Canon State. We clothe them. But do they appreciate us? No. What do they do? They keep killing us. And you say I should be called one. No way. And you keep saying that evil people, they hate on houses. No, house people are the ones hating. We, we are the ones that is even practicing the so-called one Nigeria. Because evil man will go to the north, will go to west. They will build, erect buildings, do build plazas. Go there, you see evil people that are very wealthy. Employ house people there. Because we are comfortable anywhere we go, we, we love our people. We like being our brother's keepers. We love them so much. We'll go to Amahosa. Go to all the places that house people reside. Go and see them in the east. The only property they have is their mat and their butter. They will make money, they will send it back to their place because they don't believe in one Nigeria, because they know we are not one and we can never be one. So why will I be forced to stay in a country where somebody is comfortable? Killing me is just like killing a fowl. They don't like me. They destroyed everything you've, you've built, you've worked. They will come and stay in the east, they will be comfortable. Most of them are shoe shiners. But we accommodate them. But there, 
they will never accommodate us. When we are progressing, they are angry. If Nigeria, I never experienced 1967 to 1970 war, civil war, but I experienced this thing in Kano. I, I hope I've said it before. If Nigeria was a baby in my womb, trust me, I am going to butcher it. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to burn it. I'm going to abort it. It doesn't want staying in my womb. Let us separate. Everybody, go your different ways. How's that evil? You're back. Go your different ways. We are not supposed to be one, even though how your are not threats to us. But how sir? Obi nda no hana azo. Obi hano hana azo. Wicked people. They are not your friends. That is my opinion. And I keep asking this question. I hope we still have our fundamental rights in Nigeria. If yes, then everybody should be allowed to go. That's my candid. Well, that's it.